Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today I wanted to bring you a quick guide to teach you how to overclock your monitor's refresh rate for NVIDIA users. Now this can be done with AMD GPUs as well, but I don't have an AMD GPU on hand, so that's why we're focusing on NVIDIA because it does involve using the NVIDIA control panel in order to get these custom refresh rates. Now if you were to go into your screen resolution settings by right clicking on your desktop and just clicking screen resolution, you can come over to your monitor of choice and for mine I'm going to be focusing on my my 4k monitor which i just got it's a 40 inch 4k korean monitor i'll leave a link to it down in the description below if you want on ebay if you want to check it out and i will have a review coming soon for this monitor now i do have it hooked up over display port 1.2 and that is going to be important for a lot of you out there because if you're running something even like a 1080p screen over hdmi you're going to be hitting the theoretical limit for the bandwidth on an hdmi cable because they can only transmit up to 60 hertz so if you did want to overclock that you're going to want to hook it up over something Something like DisplayPort or a dual-link DVI cable that can do up to like 144 hertz. Otherwise, you are going to be limited to just 60. So, if you find your display in here, you just got to right-click on it and then go to Properties. And when you come in here, you're going to click the Monitor tab. Now, by default, if you're running a 60 hertz screen, that's going to say 60 hertz here, and that should be the max that it goes up to. If you see mine here, it goes all the way up to 72 hertz because that was the highest setting I was able to get it up to with it being stable. If I went to something like 75 or even down to 73 uh, when I ran the test mode which we'll see here in just a minute um, it would not say it would not uh, come back on so 72 Hertz was the max stable overclock I was able to get on my 4k screen that is going to obviously vary you know based on your your luck and and the screen you have and what kind of cable you're using so just keep that in mind you're going to want to kind of test this just like if you were overclocking a cpu or a gpu you're going to want to see which one is the most stable for you and i'm going to show you uh you know how we do that in the nvidia control panel so by default you're going to be set to 60 hertz in here um if you're on a 60 hertz panel and there's an option here that says hide modes in this monitor cannot display so you're going to want to make that sure that's unchecked it should be unchecked by default but but if it's not, just make sure that it is. So for the next part of this, we're going to go ahead and right click again on our desktop and go into the NVIDIA control panel. And once you're in here, you're going to come to the change resolution option right here under the display section. And then you're going to find the monitor that you want to overclock. So I'm not going to be doing my Acer XB270HU. I'm doing the A409U, which is my 4K panel. Now, by default, it's got it set at 34, uh, 3840 by 2160 native at 60 hertz so if we want to customize that we're just going to go ahead and click customize as long as you're selected on that monitor just go ahead and click customize and you see in here i've already got three custom ones as i was trying to get it stable i've got 65 70 and 72 hertz all of which work fine for me but obviously i'm running at 72 hertz because more is better when it comes to refresh rate so if you want to make your own custom refresh rate you're going to just go ahead and create custom resolution and then it's going to bring up this window right here now you're going to leave your resolution uh, the same leave everything else the same in here um, you can mess with timings and stuff like that and get, you know, a, maybe a little bit more of an overclock, but they can be kind of unstable and, you know, you could potentially damage the panel. So I would just kind of leave that stuff alone and just sort of settle for the best refresh rate that you can get out of with the standard timings. That's, that's my advice anyway, but if you want to touch the timings and all that stuff, then go ahead. You know, that, that's up to you. I, I'm not going to go into that because honestly, I don't know how to adjust all those timings and stuff. I, I've never messed with it before. So just being straight up honest about this so to customize your refresh rate you're just going to go over here to refresh rate and basically just change your value now i started out by going by increments of five so i saw i had 60 there so i was like all right well let's test 65 so i would just test 60 put in 65 there and then you just click test and then your other mon your monitor whichever one you're overclocking is going to flash black and then come back on and then it's and it's going to and then it's going to either work or it won't work now if it doesn't work then the monitor is not going to come back on and you're going to say no i don't want to save this custom resolution but if you do get 65 to work fine then you can go ahead and bump it up to 70 and see if that works if 70 works then you could bump it to 75 and that's basically what happened to me i went from 65 to 70 to 75 75 didn't work so i brought it down to 74 didn't work 73 didn't work 72 did so i knew 72 was the max refresh rate that I was going to be able to get on my 4K monitor. So that's why I now have it set to 72 hertz. But that's really all you do is in here. You just set the refresh rate to whatever variable you want, click test, and as long as the screen comes back on afterwards, it's going to flash black and come back on. That means it worked. If it didn't work and it just stays black, it'll switch back over to the standard refresh rate you were at by default after 15 seconds. It'll kick back onto your standard refresh rate. So you can just say, okay, that one obviously was not stable, so we're not going to 
use that one. And like I said, mine was 72 hertz. So once you finally do figure out what the max refresh rate is that you can get on your monitor, you can close out of that here and then it'll have it saved in here as your custom resolution. So you're going to save those and then you could set them here in the NVIDIA control panel or you can come back over to the screen resolution area and now you'll see in your screen refresh rates, you'll have a whole bunch of options to choose from for whichever ones you set in there for custom resolutions. So now I've got 65, 70 and 72 hertz, all of which work absolutely fine for me. So now I can get my 4K screen running at 72 hertz, which is definitely noticeable at the desktop with my mouse cursor moving around and especially in games as well. I've been playing some Batman Arkham Knight on the 4K screen. It's been absolutely great. I could just kick back with my 360 controller and put my feet up and enjoy uh, some 4K gaming on this amazing 40 inch screen. Like I said, I am going to be reviewing this monitor later in the week, so do keep an eye out for that if you want to find out more about this screen because it is under $600 and so far I have to tell you it's absolutely amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here now guys. If you learned something new, stick a thumbs up on the video below and let me know what your results are out there and what kind of monitor you're running. And if you have any questions at all about this process, if I didn't explain it well enough, if there's something else you need to know, let me know as well down in the comments and I'll be happy to interact with you guys and answer your questions if I'm able to. So I'll catch you guys next time. Ta-ra.